Mankind is always looking in its fundamental sense for what truth and knowledge is, whether it's through spiritual awakening or through uh, perception, through learning, through observation. And we're on a path that we always want to understand more about reality. But besides that, better understanding nature, we can live more in harmony with nature and utilizes aspects of nature that lead to a better way of producing renewable, clean energy sources that are positive towards the environment and positive to our human connection with our interconnection with the uh, environment and the universe as a whole. We're looking at a theoretical and experimental work that displays and shows this intimacy of connection that we are all interconnected. Now beyond that, if we really understand nature and this harmonious remote interconnected level at this fundamental level, we can utilize these forces in a positive manner to support human life, but all life. I search for truth and knowledge and disseminate it, not just for mankind, but for all existence because I see everything as all one in the wholeness of it. That is usually considered a spiritual tradition, but it actually has to do with our daily lives and how we can function in the world and how we can utilize these forces in a positive manner to support what we need for our betterment of humankind so we can free ourselves from drudgery, so we can think and reason. But this time I really want to have it happen and not a complicated society, but a supportive society. Some of the words associated with the concept of resonance are harmony and collective coherent phenomena, which has to do with the fact that the universe is actually a very nonlinear, has very nonlinear systems. One of the most nonlinear systems we know of are humans and the complexity of life as it becomes more complex, it becomes more nonlinear. That is, there's not such a easy description between cause and effect. But even when I throw a stone in water, I do form certain nonlinear states. It's just part of the fundamental aspect of reality some people are put off by the complexity of it, but in a way it has its own simplicity and it has its own value to really understand what is going on in the universe. I think we're all infinite beings, and this may be a concept that's hard for people to understand because they think of themselves as individuals and separate from and distinct from all existence as well as other humans. But I actually think that a lot of the brain is not a generator so much of knowledge and a store and a recipient. It, there, I think there's a whole field of existence and information that exists outside of ourselves that we can organize and bring into our minds. But you have to open your mind to the possibility of using dream states, altered states of consciousness, uh, yoga, meditation, and other methodologies I found extremely useful to gain knowledge. And I don't submit my papers and say I literally dreamed this up, but I did. What I really enjoy is the fact that it's like the whole universe is this wonderful mystery that's presented to us. This wonderful mystery that unfolds before us, that we look for clues as to what its purpose and meaning. So I see us now on a great threshold of adventure like life really is. And there's so many gifts that nature is going to give us in the bounty of knowledge and truth that will make our lives better, but the universe and the world a better place.